that the tool bag you keep in your truck? What's it doing out? Yeah, it is. Well, uh, you know, Joe called last night and he was driving on the road and his truck broke down. Oh yeah, I remember that call, not yeah. good. And uh, for all of my driving life, I've always kept tools in my truck. And uh, my boys picked up that trait for me and he shared with me how grateful he was that uh, he had some tools so he could take care of it on the road and not be stranded. So I thought today I would do a tool, a truck toolbox um, show and tell. Show you what I keep in the truck and um, and how it uh, keeps me from not being stranded somewhere. So let's go ahead and dive in. The first thing I keep in there is this uh, breaker bar, half inch breaker bar. And then in my tool bag, I've got a socket that fits the, um, well, not only does it fit the lug nuts, but it also fits the serpentine belt tensioner. So if the serpentine belt breaks out on the road, I can change it out. I always keep an extra belt in the, under the seat, so just in case. Because it seems like things always break down out in the middle of nowhere, so. Well, then you've saved us many times when we've been on the road. Yeah. The other thing I keep is... Uh, this is probably like one of my most favorite tools. Got it at Harbor Freight with a super coupon. It was 19 bucks. It's got a nice strong magnet. This thing bends both ways. Um, it's got three light settings, Ooh, high, right. medium. And then the, on the very end is a flashlight. Super handy. You can stick it to the fender of your truck if you're changing a tire and it's dark. Um, look under the dash. Under the hood? Under the hood, yeah. yeah. It's a cool tool. So let's get in here and I'll show you guys what I keep. By the way, this thing is really heavy. I think I need a bigger bag. Oh, it's nice canvas. Okay, so first thing I keep in there is wrenches. And I have wow. um, standard and metric. Um, it's flare nut wrenches. Um, just an assortment of wrenches. Standard and metric. I think it goes, yeah, 15 sixteenths all the way down to quarter inch. And 19 millimeter all the way down to, I don't know, 8 millimeter? Yeah, 8 millimeter. So, super handy. Um, Sally made this roll for me. So, thank you, Sally, for making this roll for me. You're welcome. It served my purpose as well. I keep a shop towel in the... Uh, tool bag. I keep electrical tape in the tool bag. Uh, I got sockets, uh, standard and metric, and um, I just zip tie them together because I find that uh, it works better for me, it keeps them from... And then Finding. I got uh, quarter inch drive, standard and metric. Okay, I've got a pair of slip joint pliers got the ratchet, quarter inch ratchet, or no, three inch ratchet, and then I got a quarter one in here somewhere. I'll find it. Okay, I got extensions. I just stick them all together because I don't lose them that way. Here's the quarter inch extension, three eighths extension. Got a wire cutter. I got screwdrivers. Let's see. A couple of nut drivers, uh, a Phillips screwdriver. This is uh, a Torx 15 to uh, change out the trim, the headlight trim and stuff on the truck in case I get a bulb out. Smart. Yeah, I got a box knife, a cutter, a nice uh, compact vice grip. I got a square drive number two. I've got, uh, let's see, you gotta have zip ties in your tool bag, guys, because it keeps stuff in. Okay, here's my quarter inch ratchet. And, uh, number one Phillips, a small screwdriver, a medium flat bladed screwdriver, just standard pliers. It's like the bottomless pit in there. You keep pulling yeah. stuff out. And you know, these aren't anything special. This one is a diamond brand. It is made in the USA, but 
Well, didn't you pick most of these up at sales at Christmas time? And... Yeah. Yeah, these are Craftsman sockets, SK sockets, um, SK extensions, Craftsman wrenches. Nothing, you Nothing know, because it's for a rig. This one's, this is a fuller, made in Japan. But it works good. Well, they aren't something that you use yeah. a lot all the time anyway. So. I've got a old school ratchet wrench. I don't know if you guys remember these guys. But it's uh, 9 16 and half inch. Those are um, really common, as you guys know. Get some more zip ties in here. Okay, this is the socket for the serpentine belt tensioner on the truck. Which one's this one? Seven eighths. This is for the lug nuts on my truck. And I've got just a miscellaneous, here's a 13 16 spark plug socket. Uh, 9 16 just some, I don't know why those are even in there, but, and a 5 8 spark plug socket. And just an assortment of little bits here, some torques and uh, hex keys and oh, nice. stuff. And they just fit in these little sock, these little quarter inch drive. So let's see, is that in for that? Yeah, and then in the front here. Remember where you got this bag? Yeah, at the Army Navy store. Oh, okay. Yeah. I've got some gloves there. I think more gloves over here. Yeah, more greasy gloves that's so smart. that yeah because that's it i got all this into here that's amazing yeah it's pretty cool and you know these aren't i mean here's the deal guys every car every truck they use different tools and um these are just the ones that work on my 93 chevy pickup and uh for you it might be you may not need standard sockets but i like having both because sometimes uh you know, I might get a call from a friend of mine, he's stuck in town, he needs some help, and I can go down there and I know that I got a pretty good assortment of tools and between us we can probably figure it out and get his truck or car back on the road. So that's why, I, you know, even if you don't have a, a lot of standard stuff on your, on your car or truck, it's nice to have them both. Um, they just come in handy, so. And I would be really interested to hear what you guys keep in your I mean, do you guys have tools in your rigs? Um, or am I just kind of quirky? I don't know. <laughs> well, you are, but you still keep tools in your rigs, which yeah. is smart. And my boys are doing it too, which is which is cool. And they're, uh, they're glad they do. And Anyway, that's uh, just a quick video today, guys. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that uh, maybe if you're not keeping tools in your vehicles, you might think about it. Um, I buy all this stuff when it's on sale, so I don't have a lot of money invested in it, and um, and it's just nice. If I lose something, it's not that expensive. I can pick up another wrench or whatever, you know, if I forget it under the hood. Um, or if your wife borrows one and doesn't return it. Yeah, yeah, but you have trouble because this thing is like, this exceeds <laughs> your weight capacity for lifting. It's super heavy when it's This loaded. thing's got to weigh 40 pounds or <laughs> yeah. something, I don't know. So, okay, and those are probably safe then. Anyway. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm almost at 200 subscribers, and I'm super stoked. Thanks again for subscribing and and, uh, and liking. Um, I really appreciate it. And give me some comments. Let me know um, what you think about what your toolbox looks like that's in your vehicle. And um, I hope you have a great day. Stay safe out there. And we'll see you next time. Idaho Fabricator.